solve a simple initial value problem. That's a differential equation with an initial value. And in this case, it's a separable differential equation. When we write it in this form, we've got uh, the derivative on one side, and on the other side, we have a product of a function of the uh, independent variable x, in this case, and the dependent variable y. And our initial condition is that y at 0 is 1. Now, with the separable differential equation, all we need to do is uh, essentially multiply out to put all the uh, dependent variable on one side. So we multiply, in this case, we're going to divide through by y squared. So we're going to have 1 upon y squared dy dx is equal to 3 x squared. And then we integrate both sides of this equation with respect to x. Now, this side is very straightforward. On this side, we actually have a change of variable problem. We can really rewrite this as just an integral with respect to y. So we have the integral dy over y squared equals the integral 3x squared dx. And now we just integrate both sides. It's quite common, in fact, to go straight from the initial setup to this equation here. So we integrate both sides. And on this side, we're going to get minus 1 upon y. And on this side, we're going to get x cubed. Now, when it comes to solving a differential equation, you must put in an arbitrary constant in doing these integrals. But for separable d differential equations, there's no point in putting an arbitrary constant on both sides. You just put it on one side. Which side doesn't really matter, but it's more usual to put it on that side. If you put an arbitrary constant on, on the left here, you'd just be having a difference of arbitrary constants, which is another arbitrary constant. So it just saves time to put one in. Now I could solve this thing for y, but it's usual good practice when you get the general solution, which is what we've got here, this is the general solution of the differential equation, is to put the initial conditions in at this point, as soon as you've got the general solution. So, putting in initial conditions. Well, when x is 0, y is 1, so we get minus 1 upon 1 equals 0 plus c. In other words, c is minus 1, and we've finished the problem. Uh, one of, minus 1 upon y is x cubed minus 1. You could leave it like that, or you could rearrange it a bit to get the solution, which will be uh, y is... Well, we can write it this way, I think it's most convenient, 1 over 1 minus x cubed. And that's our solution. You can check this out. If you're a little uncertain, you can differentiate this quite uh, easily with respect to x and check that dy dx is indeed 3x squared y squared. But it's obvious as well that y of 0 is 1.